One game, so many storylines for the Minnesota Vikings and New Orleans Saints. The season has been defined by solid performances on both sides. Another key ingredient, the newcomers. The Viking rookies who have had to step in and make a difference. It's called Welcome to the Big Leagues, taking that jump from college to the NFL. A league that doesn't ask for a rookie resume, just expects you to be ready. Pat Elfline has had the biggest impact of first-year players for the Vikings. He's been maybe even better than they thought. A student of the game who is committed to learning on the job. You know, you got to blink fast. You got to you know, prepare, prepare very hard every week. Um, you got to study your opponent and just be decisive. Fellow Big Tenor Ben Gideon has made his name as a special teams player and an outside linebacker. His learning curve helped by the people around him on defense. Yeah, I mean, it makes our job easier across the board, you know. Everything's tied together, too, so, you know, DB's working with us, us working with D-line, and we've been doing it well. Jeff Overbaugh is new to the team. The long snapper called on from San Diego State for the final game of the season when Kevin McDermott got hurt. A rush to Minnesota, but easier than his first NFL tryout. But when I was with the uh, Bears in the preseason, I got there, I flew overnight, Sunday night, Monday morning, didn't get any sleep, worked out, signed, and we played on Thursday night. So comparing this to that, this was all the time in the world. In a crash course, he has passed the test so far. I think just having trust in him. I mean, he's, he's shown he can do it, so I just I don't have any doubts that it's not going to be there. In the midst of anxiety comes appreciation that you have joined a team that has been special and that you are a part of something special. The postseason. Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, I think us young guys are lucky because we got a lot of veterans, you know, guys that play a lot of football and uh, know how to prepare for, for games like this. So it's been fun. Because winning a division and going 13 and 3 is rare air. So, too, is your first playoff game in the best football league in the world. It's, it's awesome. Um, you know, we've worked, worked hard day in, day out, um, taking it one week at a time and not looking for, too far ahead. So to, uh, to finally be at this point and and have this challenge in front of us is, is what we want, and we're excited about it. With a head coach who wants him to understand where they are right now ain't easy. The problem is, you know, a lot of young guys come in and they expect, you know, it's going to happen every single year, and, they'll, and really you never know. You know, last time I won the Super Bowl was 1995, so it's been a while. It can be a while in this league. We will have the AFC Playoff Game plus a special half hour from U.S. Bank Stadium. Join Mark Rosen, myself, Susan, Elizabeth Littlefield, and much more tomorrow. A lot of directions covered right here on Channel 4.